Hey coach, welcome to our YouTube channel. We're super excited you've decided to join us. Um, let me know how we can help. Leave a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Um, and if you're looking for more resources, you're looking for a mentor, you're looking um, for someone to help you through this journey of basketball coaching, check out teachhoops.com. It'll be up below or down below in the, in the show notes or up above. Um, check it out. It's a great resource, and I think it will make you a better coach. Go check it out. 14-day free trial. All right, Coach. Episode 16 of High School Hoops. This is an interesting one. So I, I, I'm going to – you, you tell the topic, and then I'll, I'll explain kind of how my theory has changed with this over time. Yeah, my theory has changed over time because now I'm a dad and I have two kids, so I'm a, <laughs> I'm a little bit different. But we've always appreciated winter break as being educators. It's always yes. a great time. But I think it's a, a great, uh, great way to have a conversation over the holiday break about talking about how do you, as a high school coach, whether you're uh, um, you know, a JV coach or a freshman coach or even a varsity coach, how do you approach winter break? Okay. Um, so, yep. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you my I'll give you my synopsis, and then I'll tell you how it's come kind of full circle. So early on, um, when I first became a head coach, we'd practice all winter break. We'd have like three hour practices because there's no school, and I would at the end of from the beginning of winter break to the end of winter break, I'd be frustrated. I forgot. I'd be frustrated. Even if we played, I'd be frustrated. And it's just like, why am I frustrated? Why am I not getting stuff? They don't have school. They don't have this. Okay, so here's why. I finally figured it out. Um, I finally got some kids that would, like, communicate. And they, they, they're on winter break. They're out of their routine. They're going to bed at, like, 2 p.m. Their parents are making them run around. They're not doing anything, quote, unquote, normal. Um, they're hanging out with their friends. They're staying up late. They're doing all these things. And then I'm having them come in at eight o'clock or nine o'clock in the morning and trying to get a two hour practice out of them, which is the last thing they want to do. I mean, that's the last thing I want to do when I was in high school. Yes. But you know what? Again, that's your constant mind shift of when you become a more veteran coach, you stop to think it's not really what you should, what you're thinking. It's where their, their head is. Their at. head is. Yep. And, and then that makes you a really good teacher. And, and, and being a good teacher is being a good coach. Yep. And so you have to often think about your students and you have to think about your players. Yeah. And so you have to, you have to, you have to switch that. So in, in our, in our, in our like utopian stretch there, when we kept going to the state tournament from like Oh four to whatever, um, we, uh, I, I would give them a week off. Okay. I give them a week off. I'd say, you know, right before Christmas to, you know, right before new year's, I'd give them that stretch off. We probably play at the end of break, maybe a lot, half the time, but, um, or some, there were a couple of times we play up to, or right after Christmas and I give them to stretch off. I'm telling you, there's two reasons I did it. First of all, what do we just talked about? Second one is I had two little kids at home. <laughs> And I wanted to spend some time with my family. I'm a high school basketball coach. I'm not, you know, nothing I'm going to do over winter break is going to make that big a difference. And my kids are only going to be little once. So I just gave them up. I think it helped us. I think it was one of many factors of us making that run and having that, those, that stretch. Um, because we always had fresh legs come tournament time. They were always, it was like a second season when they came back in January, late December. Um, we're doing it again this year. We're not going anywhere this year. I'm giving them a whole week off. I'm just going to say, go away. I will see you on this date. You know, I will open the gym up a couple of times. If you want to come shoot, but we're not having any practice. It's totally optional. Go be, go, go relax, stay up, whatever. When you come back, we're going to work. Um, I think you talk about a good point. I just wrote down this. It's this idea. It builds a lot of morale. You know, kids, kids will more than likely, if you give them that week off, are going to run through a brick wall for you when it comes to March time. Right. I think. And they're they, going to have I, their legs too. I think yeah. last year we lost our legs. And, 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 and we've gone on a lot of trips over the last five or six years. Trips are different in the sense that I'm getting them out of their routine, but I'm taking them together so they become like a web. That's different. That, that, and, and maybe we haven't won a state title since 11 because I've done that. But I thought that was more important for a bonding experience and for the longevity of them as friends, as our program. Um, we'll see. But, uh, you know, it might have it might have backfired. Um, I think we were better teams and I think we, we did some things maybe we did with average, not as good of teams as we right. had in the past. 
Um, but maybe we didn't have our legs come into March too. Then. Yeah, I, I think uh, for me, I, I've made the mistake of having so many practices again early on as a coach. Oh, it's a great opportunity, you know. Right yeah. now, we're maybe, maybe we're like four and five, and we could, we could, we got some easier opponents coming up. We could, you know, get back up to yes. five hundred, and oh, we could add this in, and this is a great opportunity to do this. And then, and I think about like, man, you know, and then you want to, as a person, as a teacher, a lot of if we have coaches that are teachers, you have practices that are early in the morning. That's like out of your normal routine. So right. the kids, kids are, you know, they're staying up late and then they're getting off for practice. Well, the reason why you're having morning practice is so you can have time with your kids in the afternoon. And I get, I, I understand that you get that. And a lot of other coaches get that, but it's completely, a, a, no, a you're better. If you're gonna practice, go late. Let you're better. Practice. Yes. You're better. You're going to have a better practice. You're better off going to like five o'clock in the afternoon. Yep. Um, Cause then if they stay up late and stuff, it won't affect you as much. I agree. Um, I think that's a big part of, you know, and part of it's letting go. Nothing you put in over winter break is going to let you win a conference championship or a state champ. I mean, it's not. It's not. If they, you're not going to make them a better three point shooter in the week of between Christmas and New Year's. It's not going to happen. You might work on some things, but you're not. You know, I think we see as educators and as as as, as older adults, we see the time and that we see that we can do something in that time. They don't see it that way. They see it as I'm off of school. I don't have any homework. The stress of school is gone. I want to hang out with my friends. I want to stay up late. Yeah. And, and another thing is, is you got to think of it in perspective too with kids is like when you're a high school athlete, man, it's a, it's a long day. Right. I, 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 you know, think about our guys, you know, our guys that are varsity guys, you know, they're playing a game at seven thirty at night. They get done at maybe eight thirty, nine o'clock. They take a bus ride home. Most of them don't get to bed till eleven or twelve. You they know, try most to go to bed at they, eleven. Right, but yeah. most of them still have homework because right. they're not. They're they're already amped up about the game. You know, their study hall is probably not that well focused during the day to get everything done because right. they are. They they can only think so much because it, at that point in their life, this is what really matters to them. You know, especially the kids that really love the game. It is a it is a long stretch for them, and it, sometimes I think we ask too much of them. I know we need to step back and be like, you know what? They're just kids. I got to value that it's just as much because I think again it'll help you later on as the season goes on because it is a long season. It is a long season. It is, um, and I think it. I, yeah, I don't think any. You're better off taking them and playing laser tag over winter break. And then stuff like that is totally encouraging, though. Go ahead. Right. If you're going to do some fun things for winter break, yeah, ha open up the gym and do a three-on-three -three tournament with your right. whole program. And we've done, done that. We've done a one-on-one -on -one tournament. It's fun. At, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Or go bowling, go laser tag, you know, uh, go to a Badger game, go, you know, get some tickets or co contact the box or do things outside of that right. just so you can build morale, but it doesn't have to be overly strenuous. I mean, yes. because the more strenuous it is, it's going to be more strenuous on you and the, your long longevity of the season is going to be hard too and the kids are going to feed off that in practice yeah <laughs> and they're going to feel it too they really are yeah i agree all right what else coach anything else no i think uh i think, I think that's, that's a really good one i think it's just really helpful for coaches to understand that you know it's about you getting some time to yourself um if you have family if, <laughs> yeah. even if not even if you don't have that much of family go out and see your friends go watch a basketball game a college game go go see the game in a different perspective you know right. enjoy yourself and, go see like, a movie. and as, a, as a coach too you're going to be better because your battery is going to be charged more and Take your brain will be cleaner uh clearer that you're not thinking about basketball you might get the best idea ever when you're out going having some sushi or whatever you go out right. to eat for right yeah. All right. Thanks, Coach. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, Coach, I hope you like that. Um, if you're looking for more resources, you're looking for a mentor, check it out, teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. I do not think you'll be disappointed. 14-day um, free trial. It is there for you.